I want to walk through how to get the camera to follow your character for side-scrolling platformer games. It is actually somewhat simple and super useful, right? So I have this game already. I'm going to hit play. Bunch of sprites, bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, bah, bah. And then I'm gone. Okay? So I need the camera. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, nope. Oh. So I need the camera to follow the character. And how to get that uh, working? I've already created my level somewhat. I also created all of the assets, so I'll attach the code and all the sprites and assets in the description. Feel free to use or look at any of it or none of it. Now, I just need the camera to, you know, follow along. All right, we need a script for that, and it's actually going to be a script attached to a camera, which, yep, you can do. You might not have done before, but definitely can. So I'm going to have main camera here. I'm going to hit add component, and I'm just going to call it camera script because I'm creative. And go ahead and double click. Doesn't exist. Oh, well, yeah, I need to add it. My bad. New. New script and create. There we go. So let's go ahead and find it in assets, camera script. I'm going to pull it into script here. Double click on the folder. And camera script right here. So let me go ahead and hit open on that. And there it is. Perfect. Now, what we're going to need for this is several variables to start us off. I'm going to get rid of this comment. To start us off, I will need a private game object player because I want to get the player, the person we're following, public float. And this is going to be a min frac, so x min, and then public flow. And this will just allow us to view these in the inspect. Uh, x min, x max. Okay, and then we also need for a 2D one, we're going to need a y min and public flow y max. And there we are. I'm going to hit save on this. Now, I need to grab my player. So I'm going to say on start. Yeah, player equals game object dot find. And my player sprite is just named player. So I'm going to find that name. You could also use a tag or something of that nature. Player. Boom. Okay. Game object find player. Great. And now we need to actually work on the positioning. Let me give it to this comment. All right. So inside of update, I'm going to want to float that I'll call X because that's what it will be. And we're going to use mathf clamp. Okay. Player dot transform dot position dot x comma x min x max okay. and the, oops oh i hit enter there we are and then we need a float float y and it's going to be equal to math f clamp player dot transform dot position dot y comma y min comma y max and so what this is doing math clamp what we're saying here is we need to get this value the position the x position of the player and then we're comparing that with the minimum and maximum allowed values so we're asking the computer, hey, where's the player at X? Okay, well, the camera's allowed to be between X min and X max. So it's allowing us to follow the player if it is going to be between these two, uh, if it's between our minimum and our maximum. Otherwise, the camera will stop, giving us control of how much or how far the camera can go. And that's exactly what MathClamp is doing with Y as well. So now let's do game object dot transform and it's lowercase here because we're 
referencing the camera that this is already attached to. We're going to do a vector 3 x and y, right? And that's that x and y that we use math clamp on, comma, game object dot transform dot position dot z. Okay. So we're just leaving z the same because it's a 2D game. Let me hit enter so you can see it, or I guess I could just expand it. Boom. I'm going to hit save on this. Okay. And I won't need this line. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to hit save again. And let's go test this out. So I'm going to hit play and it's not going to work. Watch. Play. Yay. Yay. Okay. The camera's not going to be following us here. I can just go right off the screen. And that is because I have to head over to camera. Okay. Notice this. Right now it can't move at all. Its minimax is zero. We're not letting it have any wiggle room. So I don't know. Maybe I want negative two and 15 here. Or negative two and 20. Okay. Let's see where that gets us. Ah, and notice, if I can get over this, wah, and now the camera follows us for a long ways. I hope you make something awesome with your side-scrolling game. Make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe, it gives me warm fuzzies, and tell me about what you make in uh, the comments below.